Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create some new layers on an AutoCAD drawing and then to save those layers as a template which can be used for subsequent drawings. So right now I have a, a new drawing open in front of me and if I go up to the section on layers uh, you can see when I hit the drop down menu there I've only got one layer at the moment called layer zero. So to create new layers I need to come up to my layer management box which is this button up here do a left click on that and a window will open up showing me uh, all the available layers at the moment as I said it's only one and we can create new layers by coming to the new layer button which is just this one here so left click on that and you can see that the new layer is created it's got a blue line going across it and the first thing we need to do is change the name of it it's going to default to layer one and if we don't change the name of it the next time we make another layer that will be called layer 2 and so on but it's good practice to give the name uh, give the layer a name that makes it identifiable so just over here on the outside of my drawing area I've got an Excel sheet made up with just some sample layers for AutoCAD uh, there's about 20 or so on this now depending on what you're drawing you may need more you may need less but this is kind of a starting point if you like so the first layer I'm going to put in I'm just going to put in one for concrete outline it doesn't really matter which one I use so highlight the name layer one and just maybe write down concrete beam so let's change the name of it if I want to make another layer now I click on the new layer button again and you can see it's created as layer one I can override that and maybe we'll go with dimensions this time press return and I'll create one more layer just for the moment and this time I'll make a layer for hatch so we'll highlight the name, type in the word hatch and press return. Okay, so that's three layers created and as I said you may end up with half a dozen of these, you might end up with 50 or 60 of these depending on the complexity of the drawing. The next thing we need to look at uh, is just to change the colour of each layer. The way we're going to be setting up our drawings for printing later on is using what's called a, a colour controlled so certain colors on the screen will get printed with certain line thicknesses and pen weights and things like that so we need to set the colors for each layer and again the conventional colors I've put over here on the right hand side uh, every employer or every engineering design company may have their own ideas about which colors should be used for which layer uh, so what I've got there is just a kind of a sample one really so concrete beam um, is going to be uh, green so over here where we've got the list of colors I can make this a little bit wider so you can see what's going on if I click on the color the little square for color uh, you can see I've got about 250 or so different colors on here and I want to choose green so click on the green and then click on OK and you can see that that layer concrete beam now is going to be drawn using a green uh, color whether it's a line or whether it's a circle or any objects drawn on that layer will be green dimensions well if we look over here dimensions on our list has a color of 150 so in AutoCAD as well as picking uh, colors uh, by the the visual aspect of them every color has its own number so you can see here I'm looking for number 150 so I can either hover my mouse over and it'll appear down here the index or I can just override the color name with 150 down there and click OK and hatch hatch is usually a gray color and in my example it's number 254 so it's probably one of these ones down here number 254 there you see that where I've got the mouse is the preview of the color and just above the mouse where it says index color it says 254 up there or I could just type down here where the white is type down 254 and click on OK so that's the layers created and when they're created like that you can just close these down now to make sure that they've worked what you can do is come up to your layers toolbar on the menu on the ribbon and use the drop down arrow and you'll see the three layers that we've created are there now that's how you create layers the second stage that I want to show you today in this video is just to how to save those layers as a drawing template so that it can be used for drawings later on so to do that what we need to do is come up to the main menu click on the big red A and 
where we've got save as, you might have just used save previously, or you might have used save as and drawing option. Now what we're going to do is go save as drawing template. Okay, so we're just going to click on that. Now this brings up a similar box to before. Uh, where do you want to save it and what do you want to call it? You know, they're the two basic things when you're saving a file. Where do you want to put it and what do you want to call it? So down here we'll change the name of it. I'll just call it my first template. And I've created a folder uh, for my templates. There's nothing in it at the moment, but I've created a folder called Drawing Templates. And it's important that you put your templates in a, a, a part of the memory that you can access later on. Don't hide it anywhere you can't find it again. And it's called My First Template. And this is important. The file type should be DWT, not DWG. It's DWT. So we've told the computer where to put the, fo uh, the file. We've told the computer what the file is called. And we're double checked that it's a drawing template that it's been saved as. And now we just go Save. You don't need to worry about any of these things. Just go OK to that. OK, so that's that drawing template file saved now. So if I go to create a new drawing now, this dialog box comes up and it asks me which template do I want to use. You would have seen this previously, but you probably would have just gone straight to open because ACAD ISO is the standard metric template. But we've created our own special template now, so we need to go and look for that. So we're going to go looking on a desktop into a folder I've called Drawing Templates, and there's my first template, the one that we created and saved about a minute ago. So click on that, click on Open. And now I've got a new drawing. You can see that the drawing number has changed to drawing number 3. So by bringing in a template file, which is DWT, we don't see that DWT up there. It's actually a drawing that we've uh, created now, but it's with the template DWT that we created five minutes ago. So how do we know that that has brought in the right template? Well, if we go to our drop-down menu for our layers, the three layers that we created are sitting in there. Okay, so just a quick recap what we did. We created some layers using the Layer Manager. We then saved the drawing as a template file. And then when we opened up a new drawing, we opened it up using that template. And that way we don't have to recreate those layers again. It's there for us now for however many more drawings we, we need to do.